Sirach chapter 23 verse 5 Turn away from me vain hopes and concupiscence and thou shalt hold him up that his desire is always to serve thee let not the greediness of the belly nor lust of the flesh take hold of me and give not over me thy servant into an imputed mind hear O ye children the discipline of the mouth he that keepeth it shall never be taken in his lips first and foremost I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Akakadash, Brakata, Wa Brakathan to the elect and the one third of the children of Israel. Double honors to the teachers and the head apostles of the great Mestone Ruel. Peace and salutations to the Alchemy, I push not this work with true and sincerity. Also, Brakata to the Akwafim who are listening as well. This is Province in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. My name is Brother Daniela. I just want to do this quick hit. You know? Uh, a, a quick hit of the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. All right, you know all the evils that's going around in this world. The vibration of this world is very base, and if you go into the word base, it means, it means to be very low. You know, we're in a vibration of oppression and an overindulgence, self-indulgence. Now, self-indulgence is not always a bad thing. But the way, you know, Babylon the Great promotes it, it's, it's very wicked, you know? Uh, there's a lot of sexual um, content, you know, exploitation here in Babylon the Great. You know, there's a lot of fast food restaurants and there's pretty much, you know, there's all kinds of food out here, you know, and most of it is an abominable, uh, like abominable foods. And uh, a lot of people like to eat, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong, you know, of eating, but it's like to the point where you have no, no, no modesty, you know what I'm saying? And you just eat, 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 and then you start getting obese, you know what I'm saying? That's when you're going off, man. So there's a lot of self-indulgence and, and, uh, like in another words of uh, self-indulgence is hedonism, all right? So this place is based off of, of, of uh, pleasure, okay? Lots and lots and lots of pleasure, you know what I'm saying? And the wickedness is, is, is very high. It's going to get higher and higher to the point where, you know, your help by Shemar is going to be like, all right, that's it. It's time to take this place out, you know? It's gonna take the place out by what? By plagues? You know what I'm saying? By by prophecies coming to pass. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna uh, um, like by the way of World War Three. You know, and uh, and nuclear missiles, which is the Lake of Fire. Okay. But but what I grabbed in Sirach chapter 23, verse five, it said, "Turn away from me, vain hopes." And concupiscence, all right. So vain hopes, meaning having any, um, like having any form of hope in this society. You know, you try like, um, like you're still trying to build things here on Earth, knowing that this place is going to be like destroyed very soon. You know what I'm saying? You can use the world but not abuse it. All right. You can use the world but not abuse it. So therefore. You know, be uh, uh, you know, like be considerate. But if it gets to the point to where it, it gets over your head, you know, like rather than um, like rather than this truth, Sarak said, "Turn away from me vain hopes and concupiscence." And concupiscence means a strong sexual desire. All right, because you know, sex is. Uh, is is uh, is put on the pedestal, all right? It's uh, you know, like like sex is uh, like sex is righteous, according to the Bible, but the way, you know, according to Job, uh, like according to Job nine twenty four, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked, you know what I'm saying? Which is Esau Edom, or the so called white man, all right? He uh, like these elites. Okay, they promote that 
at very highly, you know, like through the media, through the, um, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, like through movies, you know, television, you know, et cetera, man. So he, so he puts that on the on pedestal, and a lot of people are falling into that snare, all right? Pornography is promoted at a very high level, and it's free. And, and, we, and, um, and, like, and the reason why it's free, because it's meant to destroy you. You know, before, in the, in the previous captivities, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, our forefathers got, you know, castrated, you know, like by the slavers, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like they got, uh, like, castrated, but now a form of castration is, uh, uh, is, uh, it's masturbation, all right? And, uh, and this society, you know, they push that very hard, saying that it's okay to, you know, do that, you know? And when a man releases his seed, instead of procreation, and he's just wasting it into a napkin or wasting it on the floor or wasting it, you know, you know what I'm saying, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? He's destroying himself. He's extracting all his DNA, all his best nutrients out from his loins. So therefore, he's destroying himself, you know? And you don't want to be stuck in concupiscence. You want to fight and get out of it, you know? And, and those who have that, you know, strong sexual desire, then, then find a wife, you know? Like do the will of the Lord so the Lord can bless you with a wife. And, and uh, if you don't have a wife, you know what I'm saying? Just uh, man, figure things out, man. Transmute that energy into something. Okay? So it says, turn away from me vain hopes and concupiscence and thou shalt hold him up that is desirous always to serve thee. Okay? So it said, and thou shalt hold him up that is desirous always to serve thee. So once, once that vain hope gets, uh, you know, like sifted out from you and that, concub uh, like, and that concubiscence gets sifted out from you, then you will have the true desire to serve the Lord. Okay? You will have that powerful, um, desire that you've been asking for you know for a long time and the Lord's gonna you know make that manifest and you will be having the highest desire to serve the Lord with gladness serving the Lord with gladness you know okay verse 6 let not the greediness of the belly nor lust of the flesh take hold of me all right so this world is based off of a lot of lust lots of lust a lot a lot of lust you know According to uh, 1 John 2.15, love not the world, neither are the things that are in the world, you know? Because the things of the world, it's only temporary, but it has a very high level of lust, you know? The women, the cars, the money, you know? The dreams, you know, like your earthly dreams, you know? Like the list goes on, you know? So, so therefore, you know, we must abstain from those things. So we'll be able to focus on the Lord better. All right. So it says, let not the greediness of the belly nor lust of the flesh take hold of me and give not over me thy servant, you know, into an impudent mind. All right. And if you go, um, and if you go to the word impudent, it means like, you know, like ignorant or arrogant, you know. So like pretty much stiff neck. You don't want to have a stiff neck mind towards the Lord. So it all starts of you turning away from vain hopes and concupiscence. Because the strongest desires here in Babylon the Great is hunger and sex. You know, and you can add money to that as well, mammon. You know, so pretty much that's three desires here in America. It's hunger, mammon, and sex. All right. And of course, money is a defense when you use it, you know, wisely. But a lot of people don't look at it that way. OK, so verse seven Hear, O children, the discipline of the mouth. Hear, O children, the discipline of the mouth 
he that keepeth it shall never be taken in his lips. So we must have discipline within our tongue, our lips, our mouth. You know what I'm saying? We gotta watch out. Uh, uh, like we gotta watch out other things that we say to ourselves and others. You know what I'm saying? Like having that discipline of the mouth, and I'm working on that as well. I'm 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 working on that, to having the discipline of the mouth. And it says, "He that keepeth it." Shall never be taken in his lips You know You're not going to condemn yourself You're not going to Say bad things to yourself man You know So Pray Pray that the Lord gives you the discipline Of the mouth So you won't be able to say You know negative things about yourself Only positive things And positive things to brothers And positive things towards the Lord Okay I'm going to finish this with this um, like with this precept right here. All right. So this is the book of Proverbs chapter 8 verse 13. The fear of Yahweh is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. Okay? So this is the thing that the Lord hates. All right? Like the Lord Yahweh, which is the heavenly Father which means which, which means he exists in ancient Paleo Hebrew, Hebrew, you know, in Yahweh Shai, which is the Messiah, all right, the anointed one, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, according to the ancient Paleo Hebrew tongue, okay? So, it says, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh, is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the forward mouth do I hate. And, you know, so what I read in uh, in Syrah, you know what I'm saying? The vain hopes, the concupiscence, the impudent mind, the uh, you know, and the greediness of the belly of the lust of the flesh. That is all evil. All right? We must hate these things. We must hate the pride and the arrogancy. All right? The impudent mind, arrogancy, and the evil way, you know, following the society. You know, we must abstain from this society, abstain from this world, you know, and the forward mouth do I hate, the forward mouth do I hate, so if, if, people, has, if people have a forward mouth or you have a forward mouth, then that means you need the discipline of the mouth, you know, so you won't be taken by your lips when you speak, okay, so that's it on that, I hope this class was edifying to the elect. Kahala, Yahweh, Bashim Yahshua, Bashim Akakadash. This was edifying to you, it's edifying to the elect. Till next time I say, Shalom.